Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready to talk about some big money plush? Um, this is a Facebook member share Bolo video. So what I did is I posted this in my Facebook group under the announcements featured section, and I invited my Facebook members to come and share a Bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> amazing right all right let's get started um your name will be anonymous if you decide to uh participate in this if you are a bolo buddies member of my youtube channel you will get a shout out to your ebay store or your youtube channel uh, you can join memberships down below for perks this channel is completely free if you sign up for memberships you get the perks all right you guys are you ready to see some awesome plush bolos this, I love these. I love selling plush. Plush is just so fun. And you guys, there's always somebody looking for plush, okay? Somebody's lost this item, their kid left it at the fair, or it got muddy or something. I don't know. People are always trying to make their kids happy, right? So let's look at these bolos. You guys are going to be shocked by some of these. I'm telling you what. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get started. I purchased an Aflac duck and you guys see me looking over here. I am looking at my computer to read off where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And then I'm going to pop up the screenshot that they shared so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. Aflac duck, $4.99 at the Goodwill. I sold it on eBay for $100 plus shipping. This is plush. It is easy to find. It is everywhere. Um, Donatella Bottolino is a great source for buying plush. Um, here's her YouTube channel. Uh, she, I just bought a $50 plush lot, free shipping. It's coming soon. I'm going to do an unboxing, but it's a big ball of plush for 50 bucks. So stay tuned for that. Actually, let me share this with you guys. I posted this picture in my Facebook group and it went a little crazy. People were like, Oh my gosh, she's shipping in trash bags. I'm like, you guys, you're missing the point. Like, she's selling this big, huge thing of plush for $50 free shipping. Like, why are we talking about the trash bag? So, um, she sells to resellers and this protects the item. This is three ply plastic, you guys. It protects it from the rain. Um, they are also protected underneath. So, She's been shipping like this for a long time. It's not a big deal. Again, she's trying to get it as compact as possible to keep shipping rates down. So I think it looks great. Okay, let's get back to the bolos. Paid $4.99 for this downtown Disney Build-A-Bear dog. Sold for $365 plus shipping on eBay. Didn't know it was worth that much until I looked up comps. All right, you guys, if you have not seen my Build-A-Bear Bolo top 10 Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for, go check out this video ASAP. Um, but this is a rare Build-A-Bear Mickey Ears Puppy Downtown Disney exclusive. $365 plus shipping. Wow. Bought him at a garage sale for $2. Sold on eBay for $325, you guys. Um, it looks like... I can't, hmm, it's some sort of snowman. I can't see uh, the title, but this is what it looks like. I apologize. Bought at a local thrift store for $1.51. Had it listed for $649 and took a best offer of $500. Is your mind blown, you guys? What? What is happening? It's a vintage rare Cartier uh, 1999 collectible bear. What? <laughs> I love it. I was going to post my bought for $3.18 and sold it for $100 plush, but dang, you all are blowing, my, blowing me away with your bolos. You guys, don't feel like it has to be a huge money bolo, okay? I put please post, like three into 100 is still fantastic. I mean, it's really amazing. Um, let's see. Mr. Bingle plush. I knew he was special just because he looked unique. There are a lot, there is a lot of history about this guy. He's from Dillard's before they were called Dillard's. They were called Lee Masson Blanc and everyone in Louisiana is crazy about vintage Mr. Bingle. So look for Mr. Bingle items. 
She got it at the Goodwill in the stuffed animal bin. All right. This one's mom. Um, I got this at an estate sale. Or no, wait. Where did I get this? I'm trying to remember. I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, an estate sale. 50 cents. And it had some light staining on it. But I ended up selling this for $65. This is a vintage Fisher Price Puffa Lump. And it's like a zebra horse. And it's from 1991. Even with the stains, I got $65 for it. Here's another one. She wrote that, so I was like, I'm going to share bread and butter. This little one is a gunned uh, finger puppet mini plush dog. You guys, it's like a mini little finger puppet. And it flew out of my store. It sold so fast. Uh, I may have underpriced it. I don't know. Or maybe it was just what someone was looking for. They did message me and ask me if I had more. Um, I think this one came out of a mystery box, so I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Who knows? Maybe it was a garage sale. I have so much stuff, you guys. But I sold it for $14 plus ship shipping, so definitely just a bread and butter. The next one, pick this up at the Goodwill Bins. It is a Spyro the Dragon Hug Me Vibrating Plush Toy, sold for $45 plus shipping. All in at about seven from my local honey hole. Actually only had three at one point. Went back a few weeks later and found the sister. Sold for $97.99. It's the Berenstein Bears, you guys. Um, lot of four. It looks like they are new old stock. S new old stock. Super fun. Got this in a mystery plush box. So buy cost was about $3. Um, let's see. It looks like it was a Goodwill blue box. Aurora Super Flopsy Mush Husky Stuffed Dog, 28 inches. It sold for $300. Get out of town. Wow. My best plush sale this week was this Hills Sugar Plum Bear. Paid 99 cents at Ambet's. Sold for full asking price during my sale for $19.12 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. So plush can be big money, but it can also be a fantastic bread and butter. And I will tell you that bread and butter adds up. Um, the Rebel Reseller, I recently read in a comment, um, I think it was in a Reseller Resource Center uh, Facebook group. And she said that she paid her mortgage for a year with bread and butter items. And I think those were like $10 and less items. Um, check out her channel. She sells tons of plush. I mean, she is a plush expert, the Rebel reseller. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Got this for free at a yard sale leftover. Sold for asking price of $29.99. It is a plush large Rottweiler dog vintage stuffed animal. I was telling you about Donatella Bottolino's plush lots. Now, the last thing she did was the $50 bundles, her choice for $50 free shipping. She sometimes has selling events where she will auction off plush and people in the chat bid on them. So it really just depends. I'm not sure what this one was, but um, it looks like it was a Build-A-Bear in a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. I think I paid about 20, or I think I got about 25 plush pieces for $55. So this may have been one of the auctions. Um, he sold on Mercari and took about 90 days to sell. She took a best offer of $167 for this. So um, it's a Build-A-Bear Gold Eyes Panther Club Leopard. That's it, you guys. That's what it looks like. So this was in a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. So what she does is she buys plush in bulk, pre-owned plush. And she gets, she has like somebody she gets them from. And she gets so many that she just wants to move it out she doesn't look the stuff up. She doesn't have time. <laughs> I mean, she's filling orders like crazy. Think about how long it would take her to look up all the plush to throw them in a bundle. So she just throws them in a bundle. Now, again, she doesn't look them up. So sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you just have her bread and butter. She got lucky. 167 for this. Trash picked a big bag of plush so free to me. Makes a hysterical boing sound when you hit it. Still has tags sold in two weeks on Mercari for $25 plus shipping. Um, it is a Mashi Boing Sound Critter. <laughs> it's Microbead Plush. Let's keep going here. This is a Webkins with sealed codes. I don't know how to know if the code is sealed or not. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. If I, I guess I know what the code looks like, but I don't know how to know if they've been used. So if anybody has info on that, 
share with us in the comments. This bear sold fast for me and I picked him up at an estate sale for 59 cents. Sold for $54.99. It is a Webkins retired sun bear sealed unused code tag. Um, not all of the Webkins go for big money. Most of them are bread and butter, but sometimes you get lucky. So definitely look them up. These Disney Tsum Tsums, I think is how you say it, went, were part of a huge Disney haul I picked up last summer for $240. I finally got around to listing these right before Christmas, and this buyer bought them all for $145.05 plus shipping. No offer, but did combine shipping and refunded him the difference. So these little characters are, I mean, they're not very big. And these are all Disney, it looks like. $140.35 plus shipping for these. This comes from Jack's Treasures. They have a YouTube channel. Chammer, YouTube channel. Uh, this is what it looks like. They are a Bolo Buddies member. They do storage units. So go check them out. Lots of fun content over there. Bought on Facebook Marketplace for a dollar. Sold for asking price. Yes, Beanie Babies do still sell. These are the TY. Is it Ty or TY? I can't remember. Beanie Baby set, Hansel and Gretel, the Gingerbread Man. These sold for $30 plus shipping. This was a fun one. Paid 25 cents, sold in four days for $88.88. Fisher Price 1979 Lovey Security Blanket Yellow Plaid Rabbit. Check it out. These security blankets are a bolo. They do range from bread and butter to big money. Uh, look them up. Kids lose them all the time and their parents scramble to find them because they are discontinued and retired. Um, they're sometimes called lovies. That's a great thing to put in the title. Also unexpected, this was about 25 cents sold in two weeks. It is a limited edition Pink Nerds plush sold for $22.88. I Plush just makes me smile. <laughs> Pick this up at the Salvation Army for $3.99. Vintage from 1994, sold for full asking price in about two weeks. Sent to a freight forwarder in California who purchases items for folks in Asia. It's a vintage, well-made toy company, stuffed white plush bear, 1994, $65.49 plus shipping. Let's see, got it at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for 55 on eBay. This is a vintage rare Commonwealth colorful rainbow lollipop puppy dog stuffed plush. 55 bucks, you guys. Would you have picked it up or would you have been like, mm, no. All right, bought this guy at an estate sale for $5 and sold him for 70 in about a week. It is baby, ooh, what does that say? A uh, A-B-U-E-L-I-T-O. Mm, I don't know. Poncho singing doll. Sing along. Uh, sold for 70 bucks. Anything that is animated, pretty much I buy it if it's cheap because they sing and dance and move and people love them. They usually sell good. Vintage Mr. Bim Monkey Zippy Zim Stuffed Plush. Uh, monkey Banana Rubber Face Tags. Got it at a local garage sale. Sold for asking price of $274, plus the buyer paid $12 shipping. Paid $3 for it. The buyer had zero feedback, which I never have an issue with. The plush did have some condition issues, which I disclosed in the listing. There are currently 2,218 results on WorthPoint when you search for Mr. Bim plush. My item is the third highest selling. The buyer messaged me upon receipt thanking me. She had one as a child and was very pleased to have another. I love selling plush and replacing long lost friends and memories for buyers. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, A Friendly Flea. This is her eBay store. Definitely go check it out. Um, again, she sold this for $274. She did mention WorthPoint, which I just released a video on is WorthPoint worth it? It looks like this. Definitely go check out that video. I do have a referral link in the description if you guys decide that you would like to try WorthPoint. If you can use that, that would be great. All right, let's move on. Found this sweet girl at the Benz, approximately a dollar. I sold her for full asking price of $99.99. Buyer paid shipping sold in one to two days of listing. It is big, comfy couch. Um, it is the Molly doll. The big comfy couch items typically are a bolo, so if you see the plush, definitely look them up. Um, somebody else said they sold her also, they thought, for $75. Um, let us see. 
bought this for 69 cents at my local Goodwill. And he just sold for $22.99 plus shipping yesterday. Gotta look out for Thai Attic Treasure Beanie Babies. Hmm, never heard of that. Thai Attic Treasures. Anybody ever heard of Attic Treasures? So, um, yeah, nice bread and butter right there. She did say that it's not all Attic Treasures. So, do your search solds. I got him at the Goodwill for $1.49. When I was browsing the stuffed animals, I grabbed him and originally thought something was wrong with him because he didn't have much stuffing in him. I was shocked to learn that he was made to be like that and even more shocked to see how much he was selling for. I sold him in two to three weeks for full asking price to someone in Denmark through the Global Shipping Program. It is a vintage Fisher Price Rumble Rumples Floppy Plush Bear. It sold for $120 or $121 plus buyer paid shipping. I found all of these guys at the Goodwill for about 20 total. They sold in less than three weeks. The fact that I had the whole collection is what made this, this sale so valuable. Sold for $198 plus shipping. So it looks like it's Disney, Winnie, of, Winnie the Pooh, and they're gunned. Bought it in auction with a whole box of plush for $3. So I only have pennies into it. Sold in less than 12 hours for $25. So this is Hotel Transylvania. Um, it's the doll, Mavis Vampire Doll by Tory Factory 2012. $2.99 into 55 from Goodwill. Listed and sold in one hour. Only ones I could find in this specific pose were larger versions. Only saw two. They sold for 50 to 60. None listed. Nothing else to go off of information wise. I assumed vintage but didn't claim it to be. It got four watchers on eBay and seven on Mercari before selling. I was a bit surprised how fast interest built up on this item. 55 was my listed price, didn't have to accept offers. So it sold for her asking price of 55 free shipping. It's this Douglas Company Cuddle Toys Red Fox Lying Pose. What do you think about these bolos? I love plush bolos. Head on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Go to the announcements featured section. I have three posts up right now. Those do change monthly. If you would like to share a Bolo to have your Bolo item featured in a video like this, we would all love to see your Bolos. If you wanna join memberships down below, you will get a shout out if you are level two in this video as a bonus shout out. Um, this is just an additional shout out in addition to what normally comes with perks. So I try to do little bonus things so that members get extra perks. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. My channel is completely free. The perks are just for, um, or the memberships are just for perks. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you for being here. If you made it this far, put a hat emoji down in the comments of the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.